This is Rashard Dacus. I'm here today to discuss uh, trigger finger release or release of the A1 pulley. Here we have an illustration of an oblique incision uh, line which is made uh, using the uh, <coughs> flexor crease in the mid portion of the hand. Skin and subcutaneous tissue is, is divided. We use cat's claws here to elevate the subcutaneous tissue and then we enter the uh, retinacular tissue. This is tran transected with our goal now to get down to the flexor tendon sheath. Uh, we uh, place <coughs> our, uh, our scissors on either side of the tendon and spread longitudinally. This allows for access as seen here. As you can see, the, the proximal edge of the A1 pulley. The pulley is then transected with sharp dissection, typically with a knife. We open the pulley for as far as we can visualize. <coughs> Again, care is taken not to go too deep as to injure the tendon itself. Once the limbs have been identified, we then use scissors to proximally and distally release the pulley. At this point now you can see the tendon is flexed and extended. There's no evidence of adhesion. And at this point we typically ask the patient to flex and extend the finger if possible as well. Again you can see there's some slight bul bulkiness there because the tendon has lost its uh, restraint. We release a, a little bit more approximately here just to ensure that again there's no catching. I do not typically deliver the tendon completely out, but we do want to make sure that there is no evidence of tendon disruption or injury. Here we can see the tendon moves quite freely. The wound is irrigated and the uh, skin is then sutured again using a 3 uh, nylon type suture in a mattress type fashion. Typically takes two to three sutures in this area. The patient is then placed in a soft dressing um, or wrap the hand. Uh, with an ace wrap and that typically concludes that portion. The patient is allowed to flex and extend the finger uh, immediately post-op without any typical restraints. We take care to put the incision in, in normal uh, fissure lines in the hand because I believe healing in this area is, is more cosmetic. <clears throat> 